What movie was better than the book and why? Jaws. Because everyone in the novel is a terrible person. And a lot of the tension in the film is removed because the guys hunting the shark just get to go home every night in the book. Shawshank Redemption. It was part of a four-part novella released by Stephen King. The story was very short but very well written. I just feel like the movie really captured the spirit of the story and gave some depth to the characters. Plus, the acting was great. Big Fish. The movie explores the wondrous world of the father's outrageous stories. But the book lacks all that lavish imagery. Instead it's just a bitter retelling from spoiled child who thought his daddy didn't love him enough. Jojo Rabbit was better than Caging Skies. The book was so goddamn bleak that it probably wouldn't have been adapted otherwise. Might be unpopular but I think The Princess Bride. I found Buttercup's character way worse in the book. Even to a point where I was like okay dude cut ties you're better off without her and in the movie I never feel that really. Kingsman is better than the comic. Mainly because they didn't follow the comic all that much. Queen Bees and Wannabes mostly known by its movie adaptation name as Mean Girls. I mean they're basically nothing alike but the book is supposed to be a self-help book. I think Arrival was better. And that's coming from someone who really liked the short story. The movie is just better at telling that story overall. Nobody better say Percy Jackson or we gon' have beef. Fantastic Mr. Fox. It's my favorite book of all time. But goddamn that movie is incredible. Wes Anderson just made it his own thing. The movie has so much more character. Mr. Fox in the movie is so charming and intelligent. But also 10 times more arrogant than he was in the books. But he makes up for it in the end. Also, his backstory with the wolf is amazing. Mrs. Fox is also so much goddamn better. In the book, she literally did nothing except cook the huge meal at the end. The scene in the movie where she fights Rat with a chain still gets me pumped up. And don't even get me started on Ash and Christopherson. Oh my god. What a goddamn improvement from the three small foxes from the books. Ash is so goddamn relatable. And Christopherson is so lovable. Their parts in the movie were my favorites. Fight Club. The book had a better ending. But it was written in such bizarre style it was a chore to read. And it's a short book too. The Godfather. I like the book. But the film is phenomenal. The Prestige again. Good book. Phenomenal film. The Silence of the Lambs. It was incredibly drawn out at times and they were right to cut a lot of it out of the movie. The author also feels the need to describe the hell out of everything and it gets tedious to read. It chapter 1 was great. Plus it didn't end with all the kids banging Bev like the Stephen King novel. So it gets my vote. Stardust. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy Neil Gaiman. And the Stardust book was really good. But the movie was absolutely enchanting. I mean, seeing Robert De Niro as Captain Shakespeare? Life-changing. Not to mention a much better ending. The Notebook. Rachel McAdams brought flair and charisma that wasn't in the book. The Aversion of Twelve Angry Men. I found the book boring but the film resonates even decades after I watched it. Stardust. I forgot my why. The book was somewhat dark and dreary as I remember it. But the movie is a brilliant, fanciful adventure. Call me by your name. The movie was a beautiful study of silences. In the book you experienced every thought going through a 17-year-old boy's head. It was manic. In the movie you had to rely on Calumet's performance to understand what was going on in his head. Wanted. And you may be asking yourself. But. Isn't that movie not very good? And you'd be correct. It's not. The comic that it's based on. However. Is God awful. The movie changes so much about the book that it's hardly the same story. But it removes the weirdo rape fantasies present throughout the comic that seem more like punchlines than character building. It's a great concept squandered by Mark Miller's juvenile. Edge Lord writing. The Devil Wears Prada. I have admiration for the people who made the story for the screen. 
Because the book is nothing similar. Amazing movie that came out a very meh book. Just here to say that if anyone says Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I am going to ban him from the internet. Jurassic Park. The movie created more suspense than I think was possible in the book. The build up to the first time we see the T-Rex wasn't quite as intense on the page as it was on the screen. American Psycho. The movie did a fine job portraying how insane he was. There were passages in the book that almost made me put it down and stop reading it. Just too much. Pure shock value. Where the heart eyes. There is some indigenous spirit walking in the middle of it that makes no sense with the rest of the storyline of a poor white trash girl having a baby in Walmart. They cut all that out for the movie and the movie works much better in terms of plot. A Little Princess. The book was okay but it was definitely a children's book. The movie was absolutely beautiful. Alfonso Cuarón is an amazing director. The Martian, mainly because the visuals were amazing and it made the story so much better to be able to see everything. Both were utterly atrocious. But I'd have to say the Fifty Shades of Grey film was better than the book because you didn't have to listen to her inner monologue full of oh my and my inner goddess did a backflip etc. Ugh. Slumdog Millionaire. I feel that it's somewhat cheating, in regards to this question, for films like Slumdog Millionaire, Forrest Gump, and Jojo Rabbit because they aren't even trying to be faithful adaptations. They take a lot of liberties and go in a lot of different directions than the source material. So whether it's even the same story as the book Q&A on which it's based is debatable. But I certainly enjoyed it more. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. They rearranged a lot. Pulled things from multiple books for one movie and made it so the main character actually has some growth. In the books he remains the same unchanged sociopath who learns nothing. The movie Fletch, wisely, left out the fact that he sleeps with a 14-year-old prostitute who overdoses and whose body he then buries on the beach. I'm gonna go with The Last Unicorn. It was one of my favorite movie as a kid. I didn't even know it was a book until I was in college. Now, the book is amazing. And the movie is extremely true to the book. More so than any other book to screen movie I've ever seen. But, the book is not intended for little children. And the cartoon movie adaption is completely fine for little kids. I love that I can introduce my toddler girls to some of my favorite literature so early on. And they absolutely love it. The Princess Bride the unabridged version of the book droned on needlessly at times. It was an interesting read. But the movie was an immense joy. Read the book once. But watch the movie numerous times. Not a movie. But the TV show Dexter was better than the book. At least at first. Went off the rails eventually. Jaws. Because the book is ducking awful. With an idiotic subplot about Hooper and Brody's wife. And also the mafia. For some ducking reason. Howl's Moving Castle. While the book explained the characters better. The movie was so beautifully done and tells a story about compassion and life that the book doesn't. Well. Uh. Don't know if comics are valid. But a lot of MCU movies are better than the comics. At least. You know. They are consistent. Kinda. How to Train Your Dragon. Book Vikings prove themselves as worthy Vikings by training a dragon. Meaning Hiccup never had to risk literally everything by changing the way the world sees dragons. Movie Vikings prove themselves by killing dragons. Making the world more tense when Hiccup went against that by befriending Toothless. Book Toothless was a cocky. Arrogant cat-sized dragon who spoke with a really bad stutter and did nothing but annoy Hiccup. Movie Toothless is a dragon larger than a horse known as the offspring of lightning and death itself. And could go from adorable to downright terrifying in seconds and risked his life for Hiccup countless times. Gone Girl. I keep telling people they should be considered two different narratives. Book and movie. But man David Fincher blew it out of the park with his adaptation. To be honest. Most books I've read are better. So much so. That I won't watch a film. Before I have read the book if it's based on one. The Green Mile by Stephen King. The film was definitely better than the book for me.